Hello, and in this video we're going to show you how to get started quickly in Prosser Auditorium using your own MacBook. And we're also going to show you how to use Zoom with uh, the equipment that is provided here in Prosser Auditorium at the instructor station. Okay, so first things first, we're going to walk over here and uh, just show you what is even on the instructor station here. So we have a gooseneck microphone, we have a lapel wireless microphone, and here we have a little lamp that we can twist to turn on if you need a little bit more light here. And we have an aptly labeled audio for Zoom cable, and you want to connect this to connect the room to your laptop. Over here, of course, we have power, so you don't run out of juice, very important. And over here, of course, in the center section, we have our video cable, so you can actually project onto the projector. So, we're going to go ahead and plug in all three of those connectors. Okay, now that I've plugged in all three of those connectors, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the system here on the touch panel. If you see the touch panel is blank, just go ahead and tap anywhere on the screen to wake it up. I'm going to press system power on, and it'll flash for about 10 to 15 seconds as the system is turning on. Once the system is on, you can then press show laptop on projector or show Apple TV on projector if you want to airplay. Uh, but because we're going to be using Zoom, we're going to have to use show laptop on projector. Because uh, Apple TV will only show things uh, locally. Uh, anything shown on the Apple TV will not go through Zoom. So now that I've pressed show laptop on projector, the screen is coming down. The projector is turning on and it's warming up. And uh, within a few seconds it will be fully ready for operation. So now that the projector is on, I'm going to go ahead and open up my laptop and we'll wake it up here. And we can see momentarily that I have video on here, have everything plugged in, and I can turn around and I can see we see the same exact thing on the projector. So if you don't want your students to see what's going on while you're configuring things, maybe you need to log into Zoom or check some email, whatever, you can go over here to the touch panel and press this button, video, uh, projector video blank. And when that is orange, it says it's blank and the screen will go dark. Note that that only blanks the screen on the projector. So if you're connected to a Zoom meeting and you're sharing your uh, information over Zoom, you would still have to not share things on your laptop via Zoom. So anyhow, moving on, let's show you how to use the system with Zoom. Because as you can tell, I have a microphone here. You can hear that's coming through the main central speaker so that people in the uh, seats can hear us clearly. Uh, because especially when the air handling system is on, it's very difficult to hear uh, things when you're sitting in the student area. So it's always very important to use a microphone. And if you step away from the, uh, from the lectern here, please make sure to use the wireless lapel mic uh, with a little clip-on microphone here. And this one you'll want to make sure is facing up towards uh, your mouth. So it is a directional microphone. And there's a little power switch on the top there so that when you take it out, Simply turn it on, turn on the switch, turns green, and you're good to go. When you're done, turn it off and put it back in the charging station. When you see the green light, you may also see a red light there to note that it's charging. That way it's all charged up for the next person. Now to configure Zoom for use with the system in Prosser, first we're going to open up Zoom. We're going to use the Zoom app. And you can either click on the gear icon over here to go to preferences or settings, or you can go up to zoom.us up in the top here and click on preferences. The two most important settings here are to adjust your speaker setting and your microphone setting. The speaker setting must be Crestron, and this will allow, this will basically be using the room's speakers. Uh, Azure speakers for Zoom. And over here, the microphone needs to be Dante USB IO module. And that is basically this cable here, which allows uh, use of the microphones 
of this audio system to be routed through here for Zoom. The audio quality is significantly better. So we'll want to make sure to use those. And you can tell it's working if you see these, uh, of course, if you see the audio meter going. So as the microphone is right here, I'm talking into it. I can hear it in the room so the folks here can listen to me. And the folks over Zoom are hearing the exact same thing. So that's, that's great. To change your audio settings within Zoom, once you've already started a meeting, you just click on the up arrow next to the microphone icon and make sure to choose Crestron as your speaker and Dante USB I.O. module for your microphone. You can also click on test speaker and microphone to make sure everything's working okay. This is a great option. And I can hear the audio in the room, so I, yes, I hear a ringtone. Check one, two, check one, two. Great, so the microphone works. I hear a replay. Excellent. So finished. Now let's say it doesn't sound loud enough in the room. Over here on the touch panel, these bottom two buttons control the volume up and volume down. So you can just kind of press and hold volume up or volume down to adjust the volume levels in the room. And once you have your audio settings set here within Zoom, you can just operate Zoom as usual. And so anything you see here will show up on the projector here in the room. And so if you want uh, folks on the Zoom meeting to see everything that you see, of course, then you'll need to do a screen share within Zoom to make sure that they can see everything as well. If you have any questions, please call us at the IT Help Desk, extension 1500, or from a cell phone, that's 610-861-1500. Have a great day.